Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ Blessed. Um, out here in this garden, watched some videos last night on squash borers. And last year I did have a problem with squash borers. They um, are little pesky critters that look almost like um, maggots. They will get off into the stem, the root stem of your squash and eat it from the inside out and it will just kill your plant so um i'm out here looking for one i think i found a spot right there where one may have entered so i'm about to do surgery uh yeah can't do surgery and hold camera at the same time so i'll let you guys know how it goes I will post a link at the bottom uh, showing you what a squash spore is. And I think I have a picture from last year where I actually opened one up. One of the squash plants up that I uprooted because I was so angry and found the squash spore. So I'll try to find that and post that also to this video. Okay. <clears throat> I got this leaf off, one small section of it off. And as you can see, you probably can't see it that good. Yeah, that's a squash bore off in there. He's real small. See that? That little brown spot. Yeah. Yeah, he had got in there. All praises I got to him before. He had gotten any bigger. So I'm going to do a check of all my other squash plants. And i um, going to continue on. All right, he's dead. <laughs> Okay, here's another one of my squash plants. Came to check it. And yeah, found some squash balls on both sides of the plant. So what I've done, I have uh, went in with, um, I don't know what I did with it. Um, I cut it just a little small. Then I went in with this little stick. And just went in real good and just started just smashing, smashing, smashing. So hopefully I got the squash bore. So what I'm about to do now is to get some potting soil and plant, I mean, cover this area up real good. And it said that it will, the plant will um, heal itself. It will heal itself. So uh, we will see if it heals itself. Because I really went in and gutted it <laughs> to get that uh, to get those squash boards out. All right. Okay, I hope you can see. Um, I went in and I covered that area with some uh, garden soil mixture, and then I watered it with uh, some fish emulsion, which is a fish fertilizer. So hopefully, um, it'll recover from my butchering. You know, I'm not a surgeon. I didn't sign up for surgery, but I had to do it in order to save my zucchini. And um, I'll let you guys know, <clears throat> excuse me, how it goes. Last year was my first time doing zucchini squash. I, I loved it. It was good. Um, so, um, Hopefully this works. If this works, I'll continue on to do zucchini squash and find another method of squash bore prevention. But um, I'm not into all this getting down and looking and cutting and digging out little maggot looking creatures from the stem of a plant. I can't do all that. That's too much. But I love gardening, so um, I may not, you know, do the squash anymore, the zucchini squash or any kind of squash, but this is too much for me. I can't do all this, but Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ Bless, just wanted to share you with you uh, the morning and the life of an Israelite in captivity trying to grow her own food. Peace and blessings. Okay, Israel, I've been in the garden today working hard, as you can see. I wanted to share one more thing that I have to do. Because I'm in Mississippi, uh, this community is surrounded by uh, fields, bean fields, cotton fields, yeah. 
that's what we're surrounded by but um yeah i had to put down some snake away so i put the snake away around the perimeter of the garden and um yeah this is what i use for my fertilizer let me see i'm tired uh, I hope you can see this. This is fish emulsion. It's a fish, uh, fish fertilizer. Um, yeah, that's what I use. My sister's tired. Um, I'm about to go in here and take me a hot one and rest, 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 rest. Um, I truly did surgery today. Yeah. But I love you guys. Most high in Christ. Bless. Shalom.